beautiful people i have some coconuts growing in my backyard and what happens with coconuts is that if you don't harvest this while it is fresh and green it dries on the tree and once it falls off when you cut it you get a dry coconut like this okay if you are to harvest the green one and put it down it will get spoiled so for you to get this it has to dry on the tree and you fall off by itself or when it dries and you harvest it you can do this i have this gentleman who helps me every now and then with my gardening and he will usually he he does this job i don't have the energy the capacity the resource the skill <laughs> to do this so he 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 did this job for me so there's a time that i got a lot of them harvested about 12 of them and then he did everything so i have a recipe on my channel on how i effortlessly break my coconuts okay so i'm not going to go through that process i'll leave the link in that video and um, link in the description box for you for your convenience just in case you are interested so i'll just go ahead break them and then i'll grate them okay it was a lot of coconuts and um, that day so i'll just go ahead i grated them over some nice movie because if you are to stand and grade this it'll be stressful you'll be annoying <laughs> so we have some nice tv show watch while you grade this it makes it much more easier i'll go ahead and blend this um, nicely i've already shared the recipe of some coconut oil but that was not cold pressed and that one i used my chusa i don't have that anymore i've said that story already um someone took my juicer <laughs> um so yeah so i'll this time i had to go blender blend and then um the chiffon cloth that i placed over the sieve will help me squeeze out the juice um, in this effortlessly okay so once that is done the chaff you can use it for some coconut bread some cookies there are a lot of things that you can do with this okay um but I, it were just a lot that day it was just too much and i i was just not in the mood so i discarded it okay but there are so many things you can do with this just so you know uh, i'm sure if i had purchased this i wouldn't have thrown it away <laughs> so i'll just cover this with my cling film i got two of this you know the two containers that you are seeing i'll just cover it and let it sit on my counter for you know a couple of hours you know it was just like one hour or two you come back and you see a clear separation um, of the water and then the cream um, I did this in the evening, so I'll place it in my fridge, okay, and then the next day you'll notice that it will solidify, fridge, refrigerator, you can keep this in your freezer for 15 minutes, so you can do the same day, okay, when you put it in the freezer, just like 15 minutes it will solidify, um, but it was in the evening as I mentioned, so this is the next day. And once it solidifies, it's very easy for you to take out, you know, the cream and then like sort of separate it from the water. My name is Yanoki. Thank you so much for joining me. It's always, always a pleasure to have you here. Um, kindly support me by liking this video and subscribing to my channel. Okay, so I'll do the same for the second one. I always love to say this, like anytime I don't make coconut oil all the time trust me i'm sure i'll talk about it towards the end of the video <laughs> yeah so I, I went ahead with my sieve to just make sure that i i get as much as possible i i just use my fork to break them up i'm covering it with the cling film and then i'll keep it in the sun so the sun is going to do the work for us so i was checking on it every now and then and after some time you can see this clear separation of oil the oil has separated from the curd nicely go ahead and then um, open this up but you can see that there are certain stuff uh, floating on top of this oil and so i'm just going to gently scoop it with my ladle 
and place some chiffon cloth again over my sieve and gentle i'm not going to press this down when you press it down they would escape through it and then go back into the oil so gently gently all these are oil that we just extracted by basically keeping this in the sun okay so coconut oil can be a tax pretty simple but then at the end of the day if you look at the amount of coconuts that you use and the amount of oil that you extract it is very discouraging so this is not something i intend to do i will only do as i mentioned because i have some coconuts growing in my backyard and if i have a lot of them harvested like this these are some recipes that i can make with them so why not okay but i don't think i'll go out of my way to buy coconut to make coconut oil is such a task unless i have the time and sometimes as I, I keep saying for knowledge for the purpose of knowledge you know we just do some of these things yeah so at this point it was so hard the first one that i did i was able to get the clear oil this one like you know all these things were entering so i had to give up on that but not totally there's still some oil in that one okay and this one too i still have some oil so i know there's a lot happening but just stay tuned so i've added about two tablespoons of sugar to the to the curd okay that was mixed with the because at a point it was just mixed together with the water and everything so i added some sugar and i started stirring it the whole idea was i wanted to see if i could get that candy coconut candy but maybe because of the process i used placing it in the sun and everything it was not really coming together as coconut candy would okay but then look at all this oil that i'm still extracting so this is going to help me extract all that oil that got mixed up with the curd and the water once the water evaporates i'm able to get all the oil you know out so that there is no waste at all okay so once i extracted the oil as much <laughs> as much oil as i can i just go ahead and then continue stirring this i decided to still check if i could get it to come together so i added sugar on the side it still didn't come together i was tasting it every now and then and this was tasting so so good so i decided to crush some peanuts and add it to this and we have a new recipe here people this did not go waste at all it just came out so nice take a spoon and put some of this in your mouth and boy like i was so happy because if you go through the normal process of making coconuts you are likely to discard the curd um you know because it will burn it become just a residue that you may not be able to use for anything so i'm glad that this came out of it and this was really really delicious so what i extracted the first one the, this is the cold press one so this is the results for the cold press oil so you see the first one it was clear so it had nothing in it but the second one that got the curd escaping <laughs> escaping what i placed them in the fridge okay so the oil will still settle on the top and then it will freeze okay you know just by being in the refrigerator it, and then it becomes hard so once it becomes hard i'm using chilled water the water has to be very very cold to wash off the the curd that escaped you know the second one that i did so that is what i'm currently doing the cold water will ensure that it, it is washed nicely without taking any of the oil out and here we are with our cold pressed coconut oil it is very simple as you can see um not so simple like that uh, yeah let me let me be honest because when you have to greet the whole thing <laughs> and then this was the one that i did you know this wasn't cold pressed this was the one that i fried out and the container here is just some cashew that was inside that i recycled and a spoon of this boy it was so delicious it was so nice so i'll just go ahead and place my cold pressed coconut in a, a, a container and then use my fork to press it use a, a spoon to smoothen it i'll then go ahead and keep this in the fridge you know anytime you are ready to use 
you just grab it and use it thank you so much for watching i'll see you again in another video bye